Yo, FAG here, playing TF2. What's up? Wait, what the hell? Didn't I already do the soldier video? Nah, I'm just kidding. By the way, this is just the map. I'm just going to show you guys the different kinds of maps in TF2 today. First one is called King of the Hill. Not the di not different maps, different um, game types. So the first one's King of the Hill. What you've got to do is get to this control point and capture it. Once you've captured it, um, you have to hold it for a certain amount of time. And the more people on it, the faster you capture it. So now you can see that the time's going down slowly. And once that reaches zero, um, you win. But the red team can capture the point. Um, you'll see that soon. If you stand off the point, um, they begin to capture it. But if you stand on it, you block them. So just stand on the point, And as soon as the time runs out, you win. There we go. Winner. Um, these, these maps aren't really that popular. Um, next one is called Payload. Um, you can see at the bottom there's two points I've got to capture, but the way you capture these points is you've got to move this cart, and to move the cart you've got to stand near it. And the red team basically, to stop it, has to kill you or stand next to the cart and they'll block the cart from moving. And once you, if no one's moving the cart, after a while the cart will slowly move back to its original spot. But if you've captured the middle point, um, it will only travel back to the middle point. It can't go past back to the start. So once you've captured the point, um, you get a little bit more time on the blue team. More people on the cart makes it move faster. And the cart will actually heal you and dispense ammo for you. So a good way to win with the blue team is stay on the cart away from the enemy. Like this. See, I'm standing on this side. Um, you can use the cart to actually take some of your hits. You know, just as a little cover. See, you got to always hang on this side. You use it as a little cover. And once you get it to the end, you win. Um, usually the red team's much better because they've got sentries at the end and it's hard to win this. But that, this one's called Payload. You just move a cart. All right. Yo, what's up? Scout tutorial. Just got to do a quick one. Um, he's got fish. He's got a pistol. And he's got a shotgun. Scouts are probably my least favorite class. The good thing about them is they're fast and they can double jump. Um, double jumping is you just press jump immediately and you can jump twice. You can also change directions to dodge. Scouts are, um, well, they're just the recon, you know, they dodge, they pick up the little scragglers and stuff. So anyway, um, this one is called capture the flag. You've got a, um, both teams have a, a symmetrical base and you've got to run all the way to the enemy's base and get their intelligence while protecting your own. Once you grab the intelligence, you've got to get back to your intelligence and place it in the same room. Um, the arrows at the bottom will donate where you have to go or where the intelligence is and where yours is. So all your team, all the enemies will know that you've taken it and they'll be able to spot your location. The thing, why you use scouts, the, the scouts, that's the only main purpose of them. Um, capturing the intelligence because they're the fastest class and no one can catch them. And the only, that's why um, you'll find that that's the only use for them in battle, they're quite crap and stuff. And once you've captured the intelligence, you win. Everyone, well, you've got to capture it three times, but everyone gets critical hits for five seconds. But here's the real tutorial. Spy. Um, I don't really like to... Spies, basically, I don't really like the scout, so that's just the early tutorial I'm going to give about him. First weapon for the spy is revolver. Spies are basically... It just depends on how you play it. You could be bad or good. And it just depends on um, humans, how smart they are. Um, this is a sapper. You go up to engineers' buildings and sap them. They get disabled and they die after five seconds. But the most important thing is, um, rem engineers can hit the sappers off, by the way, is your disguise kit. You've got to make sure you pick the right disguise. Um, you, you have to stay off. Don't be a scout. You can't double jump and you don't run as fast. That's obvious. A medic, they'll expect you to heal. Don't be a heavy because you can't rub your minigun. Snipers. Um, so the best disguises would be Pyro and Demo Man because you can run probably just as fast as them. Soldiers are okay, and you can see how your disguise comes off. And at the bottom, it actually shows what your disguise does, and you can see their weapons. So I'm just gonna use. I usually stick to Pyro and Demo Man. Um, right click to use cloak. Oh, that's a spy. You can see spies when you're cloaked. Um, if you bump into an enemy. You can't actually pass through them and you'll actually glow so they can see your silhouette. So just try to avoid enemies and fire. If you get shot, you'll glow. Um, and your invisibility is timed 
you have like 10 seconds of invisibility, but don't go in, just make sure you always have a full cloak before you engage the enemy. That way, if you need to escape, and you just want to avoid pirates, because pirates light you on fire even when you're cloaked. So, when you're a spy, get the knife and backstab people like that. Kills them one hit. Gonna capture, oh, hide. And then just run away. As a spy, you find you won't be doing much. You'll be, the main objectives of you is to just kill a few guys, kill heavy and medic pairs, and disable sentry guns and kill engineers. All right, so I died because you wanna avoid the line of fire when you're invisible, because you can, scout, spies are pretty weak. Anyway, I'm using a different kind of cloak, cloak and dagger. This one is a motion cloak. It drains when I move, and you can just stand perfectly still and remain invisible. So with cloaks, you just want to get as close as you can to the enemy and then cloak and walk in. All right, I'm going to try to capture this point. Oh, no, that's okay. That's a pyro. You just want to back off when that happens. Pirates will light you on fire, break your disguise. You'll be at your man on fire even when you're invisible and your enemies will detect you. Okay, I'm just going to give you an example of how it, your friends can kill you and what you should do. Okay, if you're fighting, if your friend's shooting someone, you just want to kind of not stand near him because demo man or rock soldiers might accidentally hit you. Okay, so disabling engineers and sentry guns. If you don't have an uber charge, just go and sap these two, and then you gotta kill the engineer. Or you can kill him first. There we go, so that's disabled. Both of them are gonna die. And now my teammates can push forward and win. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a little trick. Firstly, get a picture. That's my wife, Mrs. Fag. And just wait for people. So, waiting for people, anyone. And I'm just standing in a hidden spot where no one will actually walk in and bump into me. Oh, okay, that's a pyro. He's distracted by that picture, so... What up, bro? I'm just gonna hide. Don't stare at my wife, Mrs. Fag. <laughs> so, you can just usually camp like this. This is 2 Fort, by the way. 2 Fort is basically a map that you don't do anything. You just have play for fun. It's not really that competitive. You can just do anything, muck around. And... You just wait. Okay, this pirate is going to come again soon because he knows there's a spy around here. So he's just going to check. See, he's checking for a spy. But I'm hiding in a pretty f good location. So I'm just going to kill him again. Teaches you for staring. Now I'm just going to torn off of his body because... I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he left. What? He left. Come back here. Come back here. Ooh, hey, baby. Yep, that's my wife, Mrs. Fag. Oh, she's got blood all over her. Damn it. Ooh. Hello, mommy. Mommy? Oh, I'm still recording? Crap.